Good morning. Welcome to Resurrection Lutheran Cooperative Ministry on this Saturday morning. I'm so glad you're able to join me. So let us begin with the word of the Lord. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia. Give glory to God, our light, and our life. O come, let us worship him. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hands are the caverns of the earth. The heights of the hills are also his. The sea is his, for he made it in his hands, have molded the dry land. O come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our maker. For he is our God and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Our psalm, uh, give glory to God, our light in our life. O come, let us worship him. Our psalm today is Psalm 118. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His mercy endures forever. Let Israel now proclaim, his mercy endures forever. Let the house of Aaron now proclaim, his mercy endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord now proclaim, his mercy endures forever. I called to the Lord to, in my distress. The Lord answered by setting me free. The Lord is at my side, therefore I will not fear. Who can anyone, what can anyone do to me? The Lord is at my side to help me. I will triumph over those who hate me. It is better to rely on the Lord than to put any trust in flesh. It is better to rely on the Lord than to put any trust in rulers. All the ungodly encompass me. In the name of the Lord, I will repel them. They hem, they hem me in, they hem me in every side. In the name of the Lord, I will repel them. They swarm about me like bees, they blaze like a fire of thorns. In the name of the Lord, I will repel them. <clears throat> I was pressed so hard that I almost fell, but the Lord came to my help. <clears throat> the Lord is my strength and my song, <clears throat> and he has become my salvation. There is a sound of exaltation and victory in the tents of the righteous. The right hand of the Lord has triumphed. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. The right hand of the Lord has triumphed. I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. The Lord has punished me sorely, but he did not harm me over death. Now hand me over to death. Open for me the gates of righteousness. I will enter them. I will offer thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord. He who is righteous may enter. I will give thanks to you for you answered me and have become my salvation. The same stone which the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. This is the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. On this day, the Lord has acted. He will rejoice and be glad in it. Hosanna, Lord, Hosanna. Lord, send us now success. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Who, bless, uh, who We bless you from the house of the Lord. God is the Lord. He has shined upon us from the possession with branches, form of possession with branches, up to the horns of the altar. You are my God, and I will thank you. You are my God, and I will exalt you. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His mercy endures forever. Let us pray. Lord God, your son rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone of the church. Shed rays of your glory upon your church, that it may be seen as the gate of salvation upon to all nations. Let cries of joy and exultation ring out from the courts uh, to celebrate the wonder of Christ's resurrection now and forever. Amen. Well, our reading today um, on this Saturday continues in Numbers in the 20th chapter, beginning with verse 14. Moses sent messengers from Kadesh to the king of Eden. Thus says your brother Israel, you know all the adver adversity that has befallen us, how our fathers went down to Egypt and we dwelt in Egypt a long time and the Egyptians uh, dealt, dealt harshly with us and our fathers, and when we cried to the Lord, he heard our voice and sent an angel and brought us forth out of Egypt. And here we are in Kadesh, a city on the edge of the, your territory. Now let us pass through your land. We will not pass through field or vineyard. Neither will we drink water from the well. We will go along the king's highway. We will not turn aside to the right hand or to the left until we have passed through your territory. But Eden said to him, you shall not pass through lest I come out with a sword against you. And the people of Israel said to him, We will go up by the highway, and if we drink of the water, I and my cattle, uh, my cattle, then I will pay for it. Let me only pass through on foot, nothing more. 
But he said, You shall not pass through. And Edom came out against them with many men and with a strong force. Thus Eden refused to give Israel passage through his territory, so Israel turned away from him. And they journeyed from Kadesh, and the people of Israel, the whole congregation, came to Mount Hor. And the Lord said to Moses and Aaron at Mount Hor, on the border of the land of Eden, Aaron shall be gathered to his people, for he shall not enter the land which I have given to the people of Israel, because you rebelled against my command at the waters of Meribah, Take Aaron and Eleazar, his son, and bring them up to Mount Hor, and strip Aaron of his garments, and put them upon Eleazar and his son. His son And Aaron shall be gathered to his people, and shall die there. Moses did as the Lord commanded, and they, they went up to Mount Hor in the sight of all the congregation. And Moses stripped Aaron of his garments, and put them upon Eleazar, his son. And Aaron died there on the top of the mountain. Then Moses and Eleazar came down from the mountain, and when all the congregation saw that Aaron was dead, all the house of Israel wept for Aaron thirty days. The, gospel, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And our second reading comes from Romans, the sixth chapter, beginning with verse one. What shall we say then? Are we to continue in sin that grace may abound? By no means. How can we who died to, to sin still live in it? Do you not know that all of, who, of us who have been baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized unto his death? We were buried, therefore, with him by baptism into death, so that as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might walk in newness of life. For if we have been united with him in a death like his, we shall certainly be united with him in a resurrection like his. We know that our old self was crucified with him so that the sinful body uh, might be destroyed and we might no longer be enslaved to sin, for he who has died is freed from sin. But if we have died with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him. For we know that Christ, being raised from the dead, will neither die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. The dead, at the death he died, he died to sin once and for all. But the life he has, he lives to God. So you also must consider yourselves dead to sin and alive to God in Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And our Holy Gospel comes from Matthew, the 21st chapter. Glory to you, O Lord. And when they drove near to Jerusalem and came to Beth Bethphage in the Mount of Olives, then Jesus sent for two disciples, saying to them, Go into the village opposite you, and immediately you will find an ass tied as a colt on her, uh, with her. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, and you shall say, the Lord has need of them, and he will send them immediately. This took place to fulfill what was spoken by the prophets, saying, Tell this daughter of Zion, behold, the, uh, the young king is coming to you, humble and, uh, and mounted on an ass, and on a colt, the foal of an ass. The disciples went and did as Jesus directed them, and they uh, brought the ass and the colt and put their garments on them, and he sat on, thereon. Most of the crowd spread their garments on the on the road, and others cut branches from the trees and spread them, uh, spread them on uh, spread them on the road. And the crowds that went before him, that followed him, uh, shouted, "Hosanna to the Son of David! It is he who blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord! Hosanna in the highest!" And when he entered Jerusalem, all the cities were stirred together, uh, started uh, stirred, saying, "Who is this?" And the crowd said, this is the, pop, uh, the, the prophet Jesus from Nazareth of Galilee, the gospel of our Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. In many and various ways, God spoke to the people of old by the prophets. But now in these last days, he has spoken to us by his son. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty savior, born of the house of his servant, David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of all that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our lives. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us pray. We thank you, Father, for your word contained in Scripture, and we thank you for its reading and its hearing. We ask now, Lord, that your, that your word be fulfilled in this meditation and the way in which we live our lives. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior, we ask it. Amen. O Lord, almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we might not fall into sin or be overcome in adversity. And in all that we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord Almighty bless us and direct our days and our deeds in his peace. Amen. Well, thank you so much for joining me on this Saturday morning. I hope you have a safe and blessed day. And I hope to see you tomorrow as well. And we had a great week at camp. And I hope you were able to see uh, some of the videos, the morning prayer, and also on on there the videos from the camp, from the kids, uh, uh, some pictures, and that's on there too. So uh, look it up. It's great fun. It was just a wonderful meet. Thank you. God bless. Bye-bye.